Sitting in a 100 degree tub while sipping on a mango smoothie, I was in a state of tranquility. The combined scent of salt water and sunscreen and the beat of tin bells and piano made for another perfect day on vacation. Until I was interrupted by a man who, with a naive smile, asked a question. Where are you from? Connecticut. I responded succinctly and nonchalantly. I mean, where are you really from? Growing up as an Asian American, I struggled to answer the simple yet layered question of my origin. Every time I was asked the same question, I felt like an alien in my own motherland. Last summer, I was reaffirmed that my struggle to find the right label for my racial identity was no longer confined to the ruined vacation day. As I was scrolling through the list of courses for my upcoming academic year, I was fixated on Latinx history, a new course implemented by the state of Connecticut emphasizing African American, Black, Puerto Rican, and Latino history. While I was excited to see the educators' efforts to establish critical race education, I was flabbergasted and disappointed that Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders were not included. I had been forgotten again. I was tired of waiting for Gatto. I no longer wanted to be a marginalized observer waiting for others to take action. After extensive research on the history and movements of Asian Americans, hoping to find a way to confidently identify my race, I reached out to Dr. Jason Ching, an Asian American studies professor at the University of Connecticut and a founder of Make Us Visible CT, an organization that strives to include Asian American Pacific Islander history in social studies curriculum. One of the goals of this organization was to promote and pass HB 6619, a bill that would ensure the inclusion of AAPI history in high school curriculum. Passing the bill required advocacy on multiple levels and in various settings. After a few weeks of discussion, per Dr. Cheng's suggestion, I decided to speak at his webinar, Teaching Asian American Studies, a Critical Introduction and Conversation for K-12 Teachers attended by hundreds of history teachers in Connecticut. Never having been a public speaker, I was afraid that I would not be the right person to deliver the speech, but I had to speak up. It was my opportunity to shed light on diversity, equality, and inclusion to leave no races behind. At my school, I used my pen to spread awareness. As a writer of my school newspaper, I cover the issues relevant to the theme of Asian American race and ethnicity to help my peers understand the exclusion of certain groups. A surge of support was felt amongst not only the Asian American community, but also from the non-Asian American groups. Outside of the school, I reached out to my local legislators to spread the awareness of HB 6619 and gain political support. At times, the efforts I made were physically and mentally exhausting. Regardless of my work, there was still the occasional sentiment of indifference while various forms of microaggressions continued. However, it was rewarding enough for me to see empathy in even a small group of people. And as cliche as it may sound, my efforts did pay off. In July, HB 6619 was finally passed, requiring that Connecticut schools add AAPI studies to the history curriculum. Where are you from? The question will be asked over and over, but I don't mind being asked anymore. Every time I am asked, it is an opportunity for me to proudly state my identity and educate others on my heritage. I am a Korean American. I am an underrepresented minority. I will be occasionally ignored, but I will be neither discouraged nor forgotten. I continue to fight and advocate for racial justice. Thank you.